Vishwanathan, uh, welcome to Pad Universal Show. Uh, nowadays, the banking industry has gone for a lot of uh, internet banking, mobile banking, and the new trends of banking has taken place. What do you think is the role of uh, banks, as far as the information security is concerned, from the RBI point of view? See, I think uh, the best way to talk on this is to elaborate on the guidelines that the Reserve Bank has issued on 29th April based on the recommendations of the Gopalakrishna Committee. As you are aware, in 2010 the bank had appointed a committee to go into the entire government of issues linked to cyber frauds, information security and related issues under the chairmanship of Mr. Gopalakrishna and that report was placed on the website and comments were called in time in uh, February 2011. Uh, we have received the comments and now we have issued the guidelines. Those guidelines actually encompass what we expect the banks to do. The guidelines talk in, uh, in terms of uh, a couple of areas, or a large number of areas which we expect the banks to take into consideration. One is with regard to overall governance relating to IT. When that governance structure percolates then right from the role and response to the board down to the uh, uh, various levels in the bank. Thereafter, it talks of what is information security per se. And that, that in turn has a, 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 a number of uh, ramifications in terms of the quality of the data, integrity of the data, the, 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 the manner in which it is stored, the manner in which there is access control on the data, and uh, thereafter it talks of uh, what type of audit trails are required, because ultimately if there is any leakage of information, there must be an audit trail, and, the, and a, a trailable audit is what the, the RBI, RBI requires, requires the banks to put in place. There are talks of the uh, regular robust information system audit and that should encompass not only the working of the system per se but also the quality of controls uh, that are there and whether those controls are ex effectively rendering what those controls are, are expected to deliver. And then it talks of a proper compliance culture and besides that uh, the need obviously is there for a, 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 what you call as a disaster management recovery system because in an IT environment it is very important that you have a disaster management system, a disaster recovery system so that you can retrieve data in case of need from a second site. What are the suggestions that you make uh, to the customers of various banks on the internet banking? Though RBA might not have given any guidelines to the customers. No, I think uh, we have not given customers any direct guidelines, but I think I would draw from what we have been saying in the context of a number of uh, those uh, fraudulent emails that are flying. In, in the country uh, and some of them have in fact uh, uh, shown that these mails are coming from the Reserve Bank. Ah, yes. So and in, fact, in fact what we tell the people is one, don't fall for any of those and two, we, we, we have, we, in fact what we have told the banks is to educate the customers uh, on their needs and what should be there. That's very important. In fact that's another part of the guideline that we're mentioning, improving customer awareness so that you know, people, the people know what, what data they should not part with, what information they cannot part with and obviously the most important thing that they cannot share is the password. I mean, uh, access to information in the IT, IT information is uh, access is through passwords, and I think uh, not compromising that is very critical. Having said that, I should also possibly mention that one of the frauds, uh, fraud, fraud, in, fraud prone area was the use of, uh, you know, credit, uh, stealing of CBB from credit card and debit cards, and as you are aware, the Reserve Bank put in place a mechanism for a second password so that the online frauds through use of credit card and debit card is not Any measures that the RBA is taking for the uh, educating the bankers and customers? See, obviously the, the, the bank will be running programs, the banks, it, the, the, training, the training as far as the internal staff is concerned, the banks have to themselves manage. I mean, uh, they, they have their own HR, HR systems and they must be able to handle and provide training to their staff. So um, it, it comes within the overall gamut of issues related to HR policies in the bank. So thank you very much for sharing your views with Party University.